if you are installing Coco Parts on your MacBook Pro M1, that could be a nightmare. I couldn't get it installed for days, and then I just have to leave my work. And you know, I got back after essentially uh, a month, uh, and then finally after pretty much looking into everything else, I, it has resolved for me. So I just want to share those tips with you, uh, so it you can you know get it resolved as well. Uh, so right now you're seeing my screen here, and when I run the Flutter command. Uh, the Flutter Doctor command. Let me actually just run it again for you guys. Flutter Doctor, and this is going to find all issues that currently you have with Flutter installation uh, or with any setup. So uh, the important thing here is the Flutter first of all that is running. Uh, Android is all good, uh, and then Xcode. This is kind of the most important one. Uh, and right now this is all set because uh, Coco Parts is properly installed, but it was not always the case. Uh, and let me share that screen with you guys. Uh, so before uh, I was getting this error when I was when I would try to run uh, or run the program on my uh, iPhone directly, I would get this error, which is you know you appear to have Coco Parts installed, but it is not working. This can happen if the version of Ruby that Cocoa Parts was installed with is different from the one being used to invoke it. This can usually be fixed by reinstalling Cocoa Parts. Uh, and then here is the link where you can actually go visit. Uh, and I did visit that and you know I tried everything I could possibly do but that never resolved it. I tried installing different uh, Ruby versions but then I ran into permission issues and uh, it was just not installing. Uh, and also since I'm running the latest monetary operating system uh, that has restriction as well. So you know that does not allow to uh, run certain processes under the root. So nothing was working for me. Uh, so finally, what I did, uh, the solution that I found was that uh, essentially you have to uh, run the script or in Rosetta. Uh, let me share the tips that you guys have to do. And uh, there is a question on GitHub. Uh, so pretty much, you know, you have to follow this one. Uh, so first of all, right click on the terminal uh, app, which is this one. Uh, so find it, use the finder and then right click on it, click on the properties and then there is an option to select, uh, run it under Rosetta. So select that one, then uninstall homebrew, just copy this entire command, this, uh, these three lines, uh, copy it and then run it uh, in the terminal. Then reinstall uh, homebrew, so again just copy this entire um, command and then just run it in the terminal and then restart terminal that means you have to close terminal altogether and restart it so it's gonna you know uh, starts in its new setting uh, then check homebrew is working fine uh, and that is again uh, running this command which is brew doctor let me run this for you guys and uh, brew doctor So it says your system is ready to brew, that means all is well. Uh, and then the sixth step is kind of important, brew install OpenSSL. And, and I think most of the issues could probably be, be with, the, uh, with the SSL, with OpenSSL. So make sure to run this command and then install Ruby version 2.7. Uh, in this case, actually I had to install version 2.5, 2.6 uh, actually. So uh, yes, I think I installed 2.6. Uh, so uh, hopefully 2.7 will work as well. Uh, but once that is installed, uh, then just run the Flutter Doctor command, uh, and it should work fine. Uh, in here, uh, at one point when I ran this uh, Flutter Doctor command, I got this error, which kind of point out the, uh, the error. Uh, but remember that you may not always get this error. So I think there could be an issue with this Flutter Doctor command that it may not always spit out this error. But really, the problem is with the Ruby version. Uh, so uh, just you know, make sure that uh, you install. In this case, you know, it, I, uh, it is telling me to install version 2.6.5. Uh, the 0.5 is this minor version. So once you install version 2.6, that should be fine. Uh, I think you don't just like uh, in the command over here. Um, you just have to in uh, you know issue 2.6 2.6.5 is I think not important. Uh, so once you install these steps, uh, then run the Flutter Doctor command, which would be this guy. 
uh, and hopefully uh, the issue will be resolved but if you're getting still any errors then you know this command should actually spit it out just you know work on that uh, so hopefully you know this will help your Cocoa Parts issue on your M1 MacBook Pro resolved uh, and um, you know hopefully then you can just program on your you know uh, and further so hopefully this video helps thank you